channel it's a real people thing yeah man the same one with the butterfly and the jamaican color but when you subscribe it well now wait man hit the subscribe button and share it with your friends today i am making chicken patties yeah man authentic jamaican curry chicken patty so stay with me as i walk you through the process jamaican style yeah man style so here before me is the ingredients to make my dough and i have seven cups of all-purpose flour a cup and a half of butter a quarter cup of sugar one teaspoon of salt one tablespoon of paprika one tablespoon of curry powder three cups of buttermilk and one tablespoon of baking powder yes man and the next stage is to combine all your dry ingredients like I'm doing here combine all your dry ingredients and then you're gonna mix everything together and I am going to use a fork when you finish doing this it should look like breadcrumbs you don't want it to have lumps in it it should be loose and nice and the next stage is to add my buttermilk you know to use it to knead the dough you know and I don't want my dough too soft or too dry so here is my dough look at that look at that it's looking nice you can see the color there and it's not too soft as well and it's not too dry just perfect time to wrap my dough and put it in the fridge for at least half an hour here is my one kilo of minced chicken and i'm going to add my seasoning a little hot pepper my veggie seasoning teaspoon of garlic tablespoon of chicken seasoning tablespoon of all-purpose seasoning teaspoon of black pepper tablespoon of curry powder tablespoon of paprika to use my hands to combine everything together you know you can use your seasoning to your taste you know so add whatever seasoning you like to give it the taste that you want here I have my onion one medium-sized onion finely chopped and I 
adding it to my vegetable oil with a little spring onion in, and I'll saute that for a few minutes and then I'll add my meat then I'll add some more seasoning and mix it and stir it until it tastes nice you know don't be stingy with your with your seasoning Jamaican people don't like food that is tasteless you will like food when it's seasoned to the bone you know time to mix it up and stir it and combine the flavors yes man mix it in mix it in and make sure you cook your chicken properly you want your chicken tasting nice so make sure it's properly done so now i have cleaned my counter properly floor it and floor my rolling pin as well and roll out the dough now i'm adding the rest of my butter and my lard For this segment, I have used one and a half cup of butter and half cup of lard, and this will give me the crust and the flakiness that I need. Yes, man, keep flouring it and ensure that it doesn't stick to the counter. Ensure that your rolling pin is properly floured as well so when you're rolling the dough it doesn't stick together. Yes man. Look at that. Yes man. Roll it in, roll in the butter and the lard, pressing it out, everything in one. Yeah, stay with me. Don't go anywhere. When I'm finished I'll just wrap it up back and put it back in the refrigerator for another half an hour then i'll get back to my chicken now my chicken is ready look at that look at that looking good looking nice let me have a taste hmm tastes very nice now it's time to set it aside and let it cool is and the filling and seal them put them in the oven for baking here I am cutting the first six of my patties and I'm aiming for at least 12 you know and I'm using my pot cover you can use whatever size you want based on the size patties you want to get and as usual ensure that you always flour your counter you know so that the dough won't stick to the counter now i'll set this bit aside and use them to get a few more there we go the first six is done and ready add your fillings in the middle so that you leave yourself enough room to fold the patty and it won't seep out now it's time to use my egg to brush one side of the patty and to seal it 
when I'm done. So I'm just going to go in with my brush like this, you know, just on one side, you know, so that when you fold the patties over, you can seal it and it will, it won't open when you're baking it. Your fingers to press the patty and give it the shape. Yes, man, just like that, just like that. You know, from one end to the next. Yeah. Then I'm gonna go in with my flour and my fork. And I'm gonna clinch and seal the edge of the patty all around. You know, and if your fork is sticking to the patty, just dip the fork again in the flour and repeat the process over and over until the patty is properly sealed. There goes my first patty. Yep. Nice. Yes, man, my first patty is ready for the tray and I'll repeat the process until the tray is full. Then I will put my egg wash all over the patties and put them in the oven. Yeah. So I think my tray can hold about eight or nine. Let's see. Yeah, man, one done, any more to go. Yes, man. Time to check out the patties in the oven. Yeah, look at that. Yes. Now look at my patties. I've managed to get 13 patties. Chicken curry patty. Or is it curry chicken patty? Now it's time to cut my patties. And to give you a look on the inside. So here we go. see all the curry chicken on the inside very nice very nice very nice sweet looking good remember it's a real people thing channel remember to like comment subscribe and share yeah man share the video with your friends until next time tata -ta.